What's up humans? This is Aaron coming back to you with another video with commentary. And this one's a little bit different because I'm actually going to go into an identification that many of my students know of. So some of you are probably wondering, well, I never heard of this weird word called identification. So what exactly is this? Well, Identify is simply put a term that one of my students created back in 2017 when all I would have to do is take a character from a student that probably would have a fledgling idea or a concept that they wouldn't quite understand what to do with it. And so afterwards, I would simply look at what they're doing. And as I'm watching what they're doing, they ask me, hey, can you identify this? And I would look at them in a really strange way and wonder, well, what do you mean by identify? And what if they really meant by that was, I just need to see you draw this character, but better. And of course, to my silly little adult brain, that simply meant, oh, you guys want to know how I would redesign this character in my style. Okay, let me go ahead and do that for you guys. Mission mash a bunch of ideas within my head for the next three to five minutes and boom the story concept and or character concept is revised for my student on site and they either adore it or will simply look at it in pure curiosity and ask wait how did you do that so quickly but yeah that's just how I do things so I figured to make this video based on an older character from one of my high school students in San Francisco. She simply decided to create some trench-coated swordswoman that was all maxed up, mostly thanks to a scarf. And this character was actually created two and a half years ago. I believe it was December 2018, if my camera roll serves me right. So when I did recreate the character, she adored the fact that I gave her a much longer trench coat and a patterned scarf. I actually kind of like the character a lot too and it led me to think you know what i should probably just redraw this for a speed draw in the future and one thing i decided to do with this character was actually add a top hat to the character as a matter of fact it was more of a fedora when i started to sketch it out as you probably did see in the video and what i also decided to do with this character was giving some somewhat of a rainy day atmosphere, at least in the background. And it actually kind of makes sense currently because for the past few days, it's been nothing but rain and wind in the Bay Area. So I guess this does make way more sense as to why I'm making a video based on this character. I actually got the idea to make her katana hidden within an umbrella because I've simply animated in my head this character using a katana that disguise itself as an umbrella. I mean, why wouldn't it be, right? I mean, she's practically a trench coat mafia protagonist. Nameless, of course. Maybe one day me and this high schooler will create some backstory for the said character. And I'm sure more erinified videos will come since many of my students have way, way more characters that they need recreations of, especially in 2021. Take care. I'll see you next time.